Hello everyone and welcome to I'll Be Sewing. My name is Gina and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these, um, this little bag here. It looks like a little wallet. Um, they are around. These are little bags that uh, you can have it in your purse and when that person will offer you, do you need a, a bag, you can say no to that plastic bag because this is what it looks like. You open it and you have a little shopping bag in it. Um, there are uh, patterns and other tutorials, there's a lot of different ones that are out there to make these little bags, but I decided to show you how to make one anyway. Um, I'm gonna actually, you see, in mine here, as you see, I have my handles here, and there's a, a little bit of a border here, over here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to work with different uh, direction fabrics like if you're not sure how to make this with a direction fabric we're definitely going to talk about it and uh, so it's very simple it has a pocket here so when you're using it has a pocket and then to fold it you really just fold it around the lines there and you close it up and make it into that little wallet thing that you saw um, they're not a hard bag, so this is one of those projects that you can make and give it to your friends. If you have fat quarters, this is a great project for fat quarters. Uh, three fat quarters will give you this bag. And uh, it's great for those fabrics that you have around that you probably didn't know what to do with it anymore. You change your mind on it. You know, sometimes we buy fat quarters and we don't know, and then we end up too many. This is definitely one of those projects that's really good for that. And I think anybody would love to receive one of these as a gift. Um, so we're going to talk about measurements. And I'm going to actually show you two different ones. Like, they're not different in a sense. The only difference that's going to have is going to be the, the straps here, the, the handles, sorry. The handles here is, is going to be a little bit different. As you see, mine here are coming from the outside. And I'm going to show you how to do one with the, the handles coming from the inside. And then with this part, it's going to fold a little bit. So it's going to give you a little bit of a different style. So let's get started with some measurements. Um, I actually did a couple ahead, like I have a couple different steps ahead, so I, we don't take very long doing this. Um, and so to speed up the, pro the, the project. So I have here this one here. And um, so you're going to be needing, if you're not using directional fabric, okay, uh, you can cut, if you have like a quarter of a yard of fabric, you're going to be cutting that quarter of a yard to 16 by 30. So this is not directional. So I have about a quarter, of, I had about a quarter of a yard here. So I cut it down. I took two inches off from the 18 inches. I cut it down to 16 this way. And then it was folded here. It was folded here. So and then I cut this down here to 15 to give me a 30 inch piece. So I end up with a piece something like that. So I have 16 by 30 here. And um, uh, that's the, the part that I have for the main and then I have here for the straps I went with this yellow fabric here and th these straps are um, 21 by 4 so what we did is 21 inches long you can do them smaller but I like mine slightly longer, so I used the whole length of the fabric. I cut a strip of four inches, and then um, and then I just cut it into two handles. And then you're gonna do fold it in a half, just a simple handle. We don't want to put any interfacing or anything because we don't want too much bulk in here. Uh, and then you're gonna fold it in half, bring that to the middle, that to the middle, and that to that, and you're gonna go ahead and sew those. That's the two handles. Then we have for our border up here. For our border here, we have, I have two pieces here. That's going to be my top border. And as you see, this fabric is direction. And I'm going to show you how to position so you end up with this, uh, this straight so it doesn't end up like uh, messed up or anything. Because you want to make sure when you have your bag done that this piece is like sitting up like that. So, and we're going to have to fold this, so we have to make sure you plan it so we don't mess it up, okay? 
Uh, so for this border we have here, what we have here is eight and a half by 16. So because it's going to go in the two ends of my 30 inch piece. And then for my pocket, I have two pieces here also. I have, I'm going to use this as an accent. And uh, from the piece that I cut out from up here, I actually cut that for my lining. I decided to use that for my lining so I don't waste any fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, and use that. And this piece here is 6 inches by 14 long. Okay, that's that's the two pieces for her pocket. So let's get started how to prepare this stuff. And then we're going to talk about the other one. So you're going to go ahead and sew your straps, you know, get them ready. And then this is what you're going to do uh, uh, for for the border. So you're going to, I'm going to get my pieces out of here. For my border, I'm going to go ahead and get this part here. And remember that it, we, we mentioned this was di directional, so I want this to be folded properly. So what I want, I'm going to put this upside down, like that. Because I want this to be like this, when it's sewed in. Right? So that means my fabric has to be like that upside down and I'm gonna bring my other fabric to the top here okay just like that and um, and then this we're gonna be folding it in in here but before that as I mentioned we're gonna add our straps so what I want to do is I want to find my middle here and attach those straps in there first so I'm going to go ahead, find my middle, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do four inches this way. I'm going to get a little marking pen. So I'm going to go four inches to each side. So I mark from the middle, I went four inches to this side and four inches to this side. And after my straps are sewed, I'm going to place one on the inside of my four inches. So on the inside of my four inches. And make sure your, your, your uh, strap is not folded, that it will work properly. And if you're using a piece like this that's directional, what I want you to do, I want you to get your fabric that we're going to put on top, as I was explaining before, that we're going to put this on top. And see, I'm going to be sewing this here. So if I sew that and I go like this, is my fabric straight? So you can always check, and it is. So I'm going to go ahead after and, and put my, the straps like that, put it in place like that. And then we're going to bring this all in. We're going to do it like a pillowcase style. Uh, if you guys have done pillowcases, this is how we do pillowcases. We bring that in, and then we bring that there, and we sew this across. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that part. Okay, so I sewed that across and I used a half an inch seam allowance. When you go over the straps, I suggest you go back and forth to secure it really well because if you're going to use that with weight, you want your strap to be really secure. And then we're going to take this out. And you see my pattern is standing up with my strap there. We're going to give it a good press and you can turn your handles up and then sew them down. In my case I add just some rivets but you can definitely sew them down closer to that. But Make sure you press this really well this way 
and this way just make sure you don't have any extra stuff and you're gonna press it then we so we're gonna do the same thing to the other side okay so we're gonna get your piece you're gonna put your strap again the four inches and then I'm just going to kind of just put it here so you see how you go like that. You're going to go secure it in place. Then get your fabric right sides down. And then you're going to bring this whole thing in there. And go ahead and sew again. I already have another one here that I've done ahead of time, so I'm going to bring that one up. So I have it here, and um, as you see, I have my both sides done with my straps on. So we're going to put it here to the side for a second. So this is what it looks like, and of course you're going to secure these straps on. And so we're going to talk about our second one that I told you that you could use fat quarters and if your fabric is directional. And in this case here, this other one that I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the straps on the inside here. Okay? Instead of having on the outside. So I have another fabric here that I picked. So I picked this fabric here that was two fat quarters and what I did because I'm putting the I'm putting my straps from the inside not from the outside I cut my fabric slightly taller so I did 18 inches by 16 still the same width and I have here two pieces because as you see my fabric is directional I'm not going to have a base here I'm going to have to cut it into pieces to change the direction so I have two pieces here so one and two, front and back. And then for my border, I have this one here. And so it's the same idea and my straps also, it's exactly the same measurements for everything else. Just the bag alone, the part for the bag, the main body is different. It's, it's 18 by, by 16 versus the, the 15 because before we cut it only 15. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, do the same thing. We're going to get our straps. We're going to do our four inches. But in this case here, we're going to add our straps to the wrong side of our fabric. So instead of doing on the... So you're going to go ahead here, mark the middle. Mark the middle of your fabric, do your four inches, and we're going to go ahead and add these here. Okay? So you're going to go ahead and add these here, like that, and secure it in place. I'm not even going to do the measurements, but you know how it is. You're going to find the middle, and then you're going to go four inches and four inches, and then you're going to put your strap inside of that four inches. All right, so you're going to go ahead and secure that in place. Okay, so then you're going to get your border. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. So, right sides together, like that. You're going to fold this in, going to bring that there and sew across, right? And after you sew across, you're gonna take this out and you're gonna end up with a piece like this, see? Now my strap's from the inside versus, versus this one here that's from the outside. Okay, so now we need to prepare and you need for this, in this case, you need to do this to the two pieces. You see, it's not a full piece. It's uh, only, uh, it's, you're going to end up with two pieces. You're going to do the same to both pieces like that. All right. 
After you've done that, we need to prepare her pockets. So I'm going to put these to the side. So to prepare her pocket, we have two pieces that's uh, 6 inches by 14 long. And what we're going to do, we're going to round these corners. So I have a little ruler here. You can round it like that. Well, you can find something else that you have around to round it. Uh, I am really sorry if you hear my little munchkin barking. Today she seems to be barking quite a bit. Um, so if you hear her barking in the background, I'm really sorry. Uh, unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to stop her from barking today. She must have seen something outside. Um, so you're going to go ahead and round these corners. Or you can just do this like this. Let me see. Okay. So it's rounded up. You're going to sew this all the way around and leave an opening somewhere up here to turn it inside out. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do that and turn it inside out. So after you've done, I have two other ones that I prepare ahead for the other bags. They're done there. So we can kind of keep on going. So I have my pockets here. Um, one for each one of these bags here. And this one here, as you see, I use cork. Um, it will be nice to have the cork pocket to fold it. The downfall of using cork or using um, maybe, um, I don't know, even vinyl or anything like that is you might not be able to put that bag on the washing machine after, you know, but you can, you can definitely use do a pocket like this. So I have this one that's in cork and this one that's in fabric. One for each one of my bags. So you're going to go ahead then you're going to find, you're going to get your bag and one of the pieces you're going to find the middle okay that's my middle here. You're going to find the middle of your pocket like that and you're gonna go one inch from the top one inch about one inch from the top you're gonna do middle with middle and middle with middle and what I want you to do also is draw four inches from here, four and a half inches from here to here. See, I already have my marking here. Okay, so you're gonna go four and a half up, four and a half up. And when you sew this on your bag, you're gonna be sewing down, across the four and a half, and up this way to one side here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and sew this one. And on this one, we're gonna do the same thing. One inch down, you're going to center that to the middle and you're going to go ahead again, four and a half up, draw a line and then you're going to go ahead and sew down, across and up. Secure this very well and uh, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I sew my pockets into place, now it's putting the bag together. So this one because was with the direction fabric, so I had two pieces and this one I did the handles on the inside. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put right sides together and we're going to do a French seam. Is what they call a French seam. Uh, it's like when we do the pillows for beds and stuff, we always do a French seam. So what I want you to do is we, if you have any, you're going to put them together, match them here nicely. Okay. And if you have anything like a little bit extra or something, you're going to trim it slightly. You don't want to trim too much because then your pocket might not be center anymore. So whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other so they balance out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, trim a little bit here. I think mine here is just a little bit poking out a little bit here. Let me just get my ruler. 
Well, I have them pretty good together there. It's just a tiny little bit of my border sliding off. I'm going to go ahead there. And also this one seems to be slightly off, but I'm left-handed, so I need to turn this to the side. Do I have to? All right, so you're going to go ahead and pin it and sew all the way around less than a quarter of an inch, just really, really close to the edge, but you want to be able, you want to catch all those fabrics in. So you're going to go ahead and sew there, there, all the way up. So we're going to, even here, all the way around. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. And the other one, the same thing. This one, of course, is already together in the bottom, so we only have to do the sides. But again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put these together, match your seams here. And I noticed this side of my border up here is a tiny little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Make sure it's even. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to be sewing on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and sew here and here. And I'll show you when it's done. So I sewed them all the way around. And what do you want? You want to make sure you don't have any strings from the fabric that's fraying in here. So if you do, get a ruler and trim them out. Or with scissors, just trim all these out. Because you don't want that to be showing in your seam. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this here. Just those little strings. I don't want any of those in my seam. Okay. If you, by trimming them, you cut too close to the seam, then you might have to do an extra seam. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut all these strings. And have it this way. After you've done that, we're going to turn this to the wrong side. Oh, I still have a little bit here in the bottom that I need to trim. So then you're going to turn this to the wrong side. Just like that. We're going to press this and do another seam around. Okay? So you're going to press. So the seam now that you're going to do has to be slightly thicker. I would say a little bit bigger than half an inch because that other seam has to be enclosed in there. So try to make sure that you do a seam big enough to enclose that there. So slightly bigger. I would say half an inch to... Yeah, half an inch would do, would cover mine. If you have a bigger seam on the inside, you might go a little bit bigger, or you might want to turn that, uh, cut that seam down a little bit. And you're going to go ahead and do that. So on this one, and the same on this one. And I'm just going to do that and show you when it's done. It's almost done. We're almost there. So I saw my seams on this. Here, then you're going to turn it to the right side, give it a good press, give it a good press, and this one here that I have the straps from the inside, if you want you can sew them here and leave it like that, sew them up here and here and leave it like that, but I did it this way because I want this to fold out. And then I don't have to sew my straps anymore. I want this as a little border almost. So when I'm wearing it, it has a little thing like that when I use it. So ends up like this. Okay. Um, on this one here, because the straps are on the outside. Of course, I'm going to have to sew these in up here to my border. Otherwise, it would be hard to, to use because then this would be folding in. Okay, and you don't want that. So you want to sew, you want to secure these back here somewhere. 
if you're not going to put rivets. Okay, but they're done. Uh, on this part here, as you see, there's no top stitching. So you're going to go ahead and do a top stitching around just to match the rest of your sewing. And then to fold it, it's fairly simple. You put your straps up. You're going to bring that to the edge here of your pocket. Fold it to the edge of your pocket. You fold it down again to the edge of the pocket here. And then you're going to go here to where your four inches is. Your four, four and a half. And you're going to fold that in. And then you can fold it in half. And put some snaps. Or if you think this is too wide for you, you can fold in half and a half again and put your snap there and have it a little bit smaller okay uh, the same thing with this one so fold it to the pocket fold it to the pocket bring this down bring this up to the fold here and then either in half or fold and fold again and add your snap and there you go you can add a snap if you decide you don't want a snap you could even sew some some kind of ribbon and tie it around or you know you can put even a button a magnetic snap whatever you choose so our little bags are done I hope you like this project and I hope to see pictures on you guys can send me pictures uh, for Facebook um, some of these fabrics are on our website. Uh, I'll be sewing that CA. You can check it out. And I hope you like this project. We'll see you next time for another video. Happy sewing, everyone.